You don't have to be a mechanic nowadays to drive a car. You just need a driving license. And this is what we want to do with robots. We want to make sure that every security guard can use our technology to make their life better. Just in the US, there's over a million. In, in Switzerland, over 2,000 open positions. of Because people don't want to do this job anymore. The project really started at ETH Zurich. We were a bunch of students trying to build a robot that combines wheels and legs. And it turned out that security is really a great industry that can use some robotics to automate uh, repetitive outdoor security patrols. We have a robot, this autonomous outdoor security robot with two wheels and two legs. And then our other part of the product is a, a web app with which you can see what the robot actually did. The design of the robot is very consciously chosen. From a practicality perspective, it should be able to go in all those places and stand up again. That's the reason why you have those wheel leg configuration. But then from the expression side, we also want to have a robot that people are not scared of. People should like it when they see the robot. They should feel safe. It should be friendly because it's part of their team. And that's also why we chose to have those eyes, why we chose to have the void uh, and all these components. If you hire a security agent, first of all, over time, the cost will go up because of inflation and standard of living go up. And it's it's also quite hard to find those people. Nowadays, usually our generation doesn't really want to work anymore night shifts. If you have a 25 kilometer perimeter and a person has to check it, that's super boring. But for robot, that's great. What you have to do is pretty clear. Data centers, uh, industrial manufacturing, logistics centers, airports, anyone that has large outdoor facilities that need security can be a perfect client for us. There are certain people that are very interested in using novel technologies, usually because they have the need, they can't find the people, cost constraints, and then there are other people who are a bit more reluctant because they haven't seen it, or that in the past they were exposed to robotics that didn't really work. And yes, the movie is sort of what the future can be. We're not yet there. We're, we're like converging to that with time, but I think it's also important for all robotics companies to be very open and honest about what you can do and what you cannot do.